I've been a bike mechanic for the last three years, last year or so. Definitely noticed an increase in people coming into me with bicycles stolen. That's down to more bikes on the road, which is great. More bicycles, unfortunately, means more thieves knocking around. An awful lot of new cyclists means that people may not be used to locking the bicycle in town. You may not know the, the simple rules that you can follow to, to try and keep your bicycle safe. So as they'd be, what type of lock you use, where you lock your bike, and how you lock your bike. The main consideration would be what type of lock you get. A cheaper lock will more, more likely be of poor material, um, and a thief will know the difference with a cheaper lock. And there is a general rule of thumb that you should be spending 10% of the value of your bicycle on the lock. A good benchmark for that would be 50 euros. 50 euros will get you a good U-lock. Um, it also has a, a cord on it, so you can lock one end of the bicycle to the pole and the rest of the cord will go around the bicycle. Um, a good visual deterrent, two types of lock in one, it's a very good lock. Another one would be a heavy chain lock. Um, very difficult to get through. Um, also, visually, it looks, it looks very heavy and, and chunky. It's very important to find an appropriate place to lock your bicycle in town. So try and find one of these designated bike stands. Um, very safe, very secure, off the main road, off the pavement as well. You should also make sure your bicycle is locked at home, if you have it in the shed, in work, if you can take it inside in work, um, if you live in an apartment block, underground car park, in the hallway. Really important to make sure it's locked in these places. The best way to lock your bike, if you're using one of these um, G-locks or U-locks, it's very important to get the back wheel, the frame and the pole all together. So if you have a look at this, there's our pole, frame, frame, back wheel's in there, and there you go. That's pretty secure. If you have your second chain lock, use that for, for the front wheel. In this case, we have uh, our extra length of cable. You can use this for the front. So this comes down here for the front wheel. Feel like that. So to sew it through that way. Back to the U lock. Spread it in. Make sure it's nice and secure. Locked at the back wheel and the frame. Pretty good, all right. Would have been better to have the, the front wheel locked as well. Wow, set of handcuffs. Fair it. Um, I think that says everything in itself. A uh, brutal lock that could be snipped with a cable cutter. It's a nice bike, but again, this lock really flimsy. I think it's one of the, the cheapest locks on the market at the minute and where it's locked as well. Loads of purchase just to bang that with a hammer and it'll come off. You know. Combination lock. So two really bad locks doing absolutely nothing. But these type of poles would have been as well off to get through the main body of the pole and not necessarily on the, the outer loop of it. So quick release pin here. That means the seat pole's after being stolen. It's gone. Um, as well as the hassle, it could cost you up to 50 quid to replace a seat post and the saddle. If you were to take that front wheel off and just break the mudguard and get rid of that cable, you'd be able to slide the whole bike off. Here we have a good lock and a cable lock. It's absolutely beyond me why the back wheel isn't in that as well. Uh, Dory Street car park, um, there's space in there for, I think it's up to 80 bicycles, uh, secure parking and out of the elements as well. Fantastic lock, but it could be used a hell of a lot better. It could be through the wheel and the frame. Our friend, the bad padlock and bad chain, these are for holding garden sheds with nothing of value in them. They are not good for locking a bike in town. Frame is locked, fantastic. Front wheel is locked, fantastic. But the back wheel is left free. That's quick release. That can be taken off in no time. If you don't want to carry around a heavy lock with you all the time as well, you can just lock it to a pole that this person has and come and go as you please. Two of my favourite enemies in the world, the combination lock and the padlock. Um, monster of a chain, brutal lock. No point. One of our main reasons for wanting to lock our wheel and the frame and the pole together. Keeps it secure, stops it wobbling, stops your wheel from getting stolen and stops it from falling down. It doesn't take much to buckle a wheel, you know. You can just walk on it and it'll wreck it. Um, I am gonna have it. I think it's one of the best ones of the day so far. Um, it's a good heavy quality, heavy duty lock, lock on the back wheel and the frame. The secondary lock looking after the front wheel and the frame. Um, again, that's pretty much where you want to be going. As well as locking the bicycle safely and securely, um, it's important to take down the, the serial number that's located underneath the bicycle just over here. 
uh, as well as that, um, to take down the, the make model type bicycle it is, also the colour, maybe any denser scratches that are on the bicycle that you would know. Um, also to take a photograph of yourself with the bicycle, it just, just proves that you have owned the bicycle. Here at Store Street Garda Station we recover a lot of stolen bikes. We'd like to get these bikes back to their owners, but it's often difficult to do because people haven't provided us with frame numbers and a proper description of their bike. It's important that people record these details and that they report any theft of their bike to Garda as soon as possible. 